Can they fabricate such ludicrous headlines? Just come to check on your progress, Inspector. As you do every day. What was that? Oh, your Lordship, forgive me. You are an inspiration. Thank you, sir. Inspector Dew, the Crown has given you everything you have asked for, including the Marconi device. And it works quite well, sir. A little too well, I'm afraid. There's just been a Dr. Crippen sighting in Belgium. Mr. Merriweather. Yes, sir. What was that last uh, cable that we received? Dr. Crippen spotted traveling with a female companion in Belgium. Mm -hmm. And uh, the description matches both suspects perfectly. Mm. Mm. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. Dude. The problem is, though, he's also been spotted in North Wales. Bombay, India, and then some place in the States, a uh, St. Mary's, Georgia. <laughs> Today alone, 16 messages from ships at sea. Sir, a new message. This one from the HMS Fortune. Believe Dr. Crippen and female companion traveling on board HMS Fortune. We also received a message earlier from the SS Montrose. Says, believe Dr. Crippen traveling in disguise with sun. You see, sir? It seems to be all over the world. What you seem to be telling me, Inspector, is that this monster is everywhere, yet nowhere to be found. I want Crippen. I want his head in the hangman's noose. Three days. Three days! That's what you have to find him. Three days! <coughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> I believe we have all just been violently chastised by the man. <laughs> well, that's one word for it. Sir, <sighs> this good lady has been waiting for you for some time. Oh, yes, yes, uh, in a moment. Are we making good time, Captain? Why, yes, Mr. Robinson. There's nothing like a clear horizon ahead of you and a good ship beneath your feet. We are right on schedule. Tell me, sir, what on earth is that? Why, that, my good man, is the marvel of the new age, the Marconi device, the telegraph with no wires. For the first time in the history of the world, a ship can send and receive messages at sea. How ingenious. It's a marvelous age. I say, Captain, I've just been in Ireland, seen a ship being built there. It's the most magnificent ship. It's an amazing feat of nautical engineering. It's going to be called Titanic. Well, with a name like that...
Yes, madam. How may I help you? Well, sir, my name is Mrs. B. I was head of the maid service at the Baxter Building, where Dr. Crippen had his office. Last February 8th, I remember because it was my birthday, hmm. four days before he made his departure, Dr. Crippen asked me to purchase something rather strange for him. A brand new boy suit, complete head to toe, shoes included, and a great little suit it was. Mr. Merriweather. Yes, sir. What, what was that last message from the uh, SS Montrose, was it? Believe Dr. Crippen. Traveling in disguise with son. My God. My God. We've, we've got him. Miss B, <laughs> will you marry me? So Jack, see if the Crown would afford us two first-class tickets on the fastest ship on the White Star Line. Uh, so Jack, the game is afoot. Darling, are you sure we should do this? Absolutely. I don't think we even have a choice, my dear. You look absolutely beautiful. No one can see us here. But you are gorgeous. I do love you so, Valentine. I'll give you my heart But it's already in your possession As yours is with me Along with my love and affection And still I'll take the time Thank you. 
have a riverboat captain, a pilot, shall we say, and he's just come aboard now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Don't be proven. Good morning, Inspector Duke. <laughs> it's so nice of you to greet me, dear. Well, it's the least that I can do for you, I'm sure. And it's grand to find you so healthy in this weather. Really bright. Oh, but your wife sat today has been a shallow grave at your home at Crescent Heights. Oh, really? That's why many have crossed the ocean just to greet you here like this. Now your escapades are off my face. But let me tell you, sir, that to know her was to hate her. Oh, believe me, expected to. If you had the chance to know myself, well, you might have killed me too. You, sir. If I kill for king and country, you'll shower me with praise. If I take the life of my rabbit wife, you'll escort me to my grave. Well, it sounds like some kind of hero in the bathroom. Besides, the bedroom's in honor. Oh, no, bathroom's in the bedroom? Ha <laughs> ha, sir. Yet never sit kind in mind. If my hand should land in no man's land, I'd embrace the battle line. And to know her was to hate her. Oh, yeah, believe me, it's better to You had the chance to reign. You might have run there too. I know there's been much speculation in the world press as to where I put different parts of my wife's body. And I tell you, sir, this is what she's done. She's all over the place. But first, I'd like to do a little song for you that was written just for my wife. You must have heard it around the music halls. It goes like this. Woo! She's been late more times than the chorus line at the Moulin Rouge. Late more times than the tracks they find. London to Waterloo. Late more times than a Chinaman town. She's got the town of Scooter and she's got it all the way down. Oh, believe me, it's true. There's this one. She's been late more times than the bricks that line. I've been way late more times than the lights that shine on New Broadway. Oh, it's true, 
but I know there's been much speculation on the part of the world press as to where I sprinkle the different parts of my wife's body. Ah, but I assure you, sir, that I did know Belle well, I can tell you that. And if she'd had a druthers, she loved the North, she loved the South, but I would say, her head lies so in a chest. Her hands down to the south, her tail rest. Her feet repose in them most natural pose. Spread far apart, do we stand to Just how well they got around the second. If a friend thought she got around town, my dear respected too, they should really see her now. Bill, you finally made it. You're all over London. She's been late for time. Dreaded Dr. Crippen clears your good name and puts you back to the good graces of God and country, then I am happy for it, sir. For you're a gentleman. So are you, sir. Good morning, Dr. Crippen, and good morning, Dr. Doom. It's so nice of you to greet me here. It's the least that I can do for you. Ah, they smell fresh blood. I believe it's time that we feed the vultures. What do you say, Inspector? I believe you're right, sir. Well, then let's say it one more time into the fray. So, tomorrow's the big day. Yeah. Now, you may not get much sleep tonight, but don't you worry your pretty little head, because soon it will all be over. And then you can sleep in the beautiful Pennington prison yard forever and ever. <laughs> hey, hey. Saw Mr. Biggs the grave digger today. Really? He's such a nice bloke, but he's such a little grave. Of course, you're such a little man. Should be a perfect fit. Now, I've got some good news. I've got some bad news, too. Good news is, for your last meal, Meat! 
It's back on the menu. Bad news is tomorrow you swing. Bone your petite, doctor. Have a pleasant evening and sweet dreams.